Hello, and welcome to Black Tail. I, I sort of remember, know what the game is about, but I mostly don't. Um, that's fine. Oh. Yeah, that's fine. Keep that, okay. Um, yeah, I, I, it's, I think it's about Baba Yaga. I think. Uh, I can change these. I, I want those on. I'm assuming that they're on, so I'm gonna let that go. I always brighten it up. There we go. Uh... Uh... We'll go this. If I need to turn it back, I will. Look at kitty. And eyes around the skull. That seems normal. <laughs> but yeah, I think this is something about Baba Yaga. This is perhaps like how she got started. Or like became the myth, the legend, whatever, possibly. But I don't know if she's normally associated with cats, so it might be something completely different than that too. So I don't know. Once upon a time, there were two twin sisters, Zora and Yaga. Oh, okay, it so it is. It's well past curfew. My sister sneaked out of the village. I followed her, as I always did. I took my bow. Okay. Whoa, look at her. Yaga. I'm coming. Something's ahead. Two. Press the middle mouse button to Ramavodnik. Gross. I don't know what these are, but I'll probably need them. I always make arrows myself. This time wasn't any different. All I needed was some sticks and feathers. Look at her, um, look at her, her hand there. It's like gripped in, uh, vines and such. These are shroomies. And a bit of work to put them together. Uh, okay, so how does one do this? Uh, hold tab. Uh... Zora is always up to something. Can you see it? See what? The tree. The red oak. Cool. What is that? Uh, okay, so we need... How many? I think we need one. One stick, two feather. Is that how this works? Oh, okay. 
just trying to see if I can get any more. I don't know how many arrows I'm gonna have to shoot. Probably a lot. The red oak. Oh, okay. Archery. Press short distance shot. Hold for long distance. Hold until charge for long distance, dealing crit damage. Hold that to aim. Hold R to cancel. We've often used it for target practice. Take a good look at it. If anything bad happens, always head straight to the Red Oak. I will meet you there. Uh, Zora? Was it you? Can't stand a second without a leash around your neck. How about you finally go down your own path? Uh. I, I just want to survive. No matter the cost. I always tried to think about what's good for me. Trying is all you could ever do. <laughs> You got it all wrong. Once upon a time, there was a freak with no face. Ooh, How much longer you want to be a nobody? You just follow in your sister's footsteps. How far will you go when she's not around? Zora's got a, a plan. She always has one. It's time you had a plan. You want to hide here in the woods? You can't hide from Baba, Princess. I just need to find the Red Oak. The Red Oak. <laughs> if anything bad happens... Stop it! Then forget the goddamn Oak! What you really want to find is... The Hut. <gasps> what? I... Is it drilling into your little head? The Hut. The Hut! Just another bad dream. I haven't had a good night's sleep since Zora went missing. I think I finally know where to look for her. But first I have to get some food to get my strength back. Okay. Grimoire Spring. Yeah, that was hunted by she heard her sister calling about the Red Oak. Safe and where they would meet in darker times. Telling her to find the hunt. Uh, forced out of her village, accused of unholy alliance with Baba the Witch. She set on a quest to find her sister and her friends. With thing. Oh, she needs to eat. Okay. I have skills. These are. I have a heart. Okay. Commit good, good deeds of, commit deeds of good or evil to tilt your morality. Your moral sense will affect some of your skills. There's a certain place that will judge you every time you visit, altering your moral stance. Okay. evil slightly because I, I did the thing. Okay. Bestiary. Two legs, arms, and a head, mostly. Outcast and recluse, one of the orphan twins raised by a foster family in a village. Her face bears a strange birthmark, causing superstitious villagers to antagonize her. The, the least popular, popular of the kids, kids always a punching bag, bag shunned and mocked. Ashamed of her appearance, she chooses to hide behind a mask. 
She believes the, ma the mask and her brave sister's protection are the only thing shielding her from the cruelty of the outside world. She's not necessarily wrong. They're rejected by her community. She chose paths less traveled and with them a life of survival and the hunt. Zora, uh, Yaga's lost twin sister. She, had, she was the bright one, the loud one, the leader, and the protector. The one keeping Yaga safe from the villagers' superstitious and bigotry. Her disappearance tipped the scale. Yaga could no longer feel safe in the village. The only option was she, she was left with was to set out in the wild in search of her. Dargoy, Volko, Slav, Stavtsa, and most recently Zora, the village youth seemed to disappear one by one every year. This has caused ever-increasing unrest to creep up the villagers' minds. As the disappearances continued, their superstitions grew. With every lost child, Yaga's safety among the village folk was less certain. It was here without a trace a year ago. One of our friends. Uh, she and Yaga have never exactly... Oh, so she was not a friend. And it's three years ago, the village bully. The evil from the woods, Baba or Baba the witch, is thought to be a monstrous hag responsible for most misfortunes occurring in the village. The supposed witch is believed to be guilty of recent disappearances. Not much is known about her other than she has been prevailing danger for decades, as even the village elders can recall her name effortlessly. Slug-like beings aggressive and highly territorial. Luckily their attacks can't do much harm other than some emotional damage. While their gooey skin protects from Conventional attacks, they can surely be squished by other means. I said that all Vodkins are remnants of a giant, ancient entity known simply as the Vodnik. Blue Vodnik. A covenant adhesive slime that makes anything come in contact with them awfully sticky. Be careful not to step on one of these during a fight, that would temporarily slow you down. Okay. Mask. Uh. Bow. The gauntlet. Oh! It has been with Yaga ever since an event that remains blurry in her memory for now. So that's just, it is something that is like on her. Arrows. Okay. Antidote. Skills. Nothing, I guess. Oh. Feather. Wood. Red herb. I think the shiny alchemical ingredient. Oh, honeycombs. An eye, lovely. There are certain particularly googly spiders out in the wild that could supply skillful archer with eyeballs. Crystal. Some poisonous enemies. Huh. And meat. Okay. Places, the hut, the village, the red oak, babooks, kind owl-sized spirits who see everything and hear everything. They may look a bit like pine cones, but they are much more talkative than pine cones. They do not seem to mind being shot. If knocked down, they will grumble some forced gossip in a long forgotten language only known by some. Your rebel will aid you on your journey should you ever get lost. Upon being shot as their soul flies up, they'll leave behind Shellocks. Oh, okay. Uh, they track down in groves. Okay. Burb. Since you weren't a cat, the only valley the opposite of feathers. Drop these as they land. Oh, I see. And I don't have any of these. Well, I actually... I'm now really interested in seeing... Oh, I can just do this in, in inventory. That's nice. Um, oh, I see. I need four of those, one of those. Okay, I see. I understand now. Um, so I... I think I might actually want to restart and see what this ending is because I will probably play good I, I can't not play good so I'm gonna restart and just do that because I can do that there's no issue with that oh 
And we'll stick with adventure. I'll restart again if I need to, if that's too difficult. I assume that's like medium difficulty and then there's like easy difficulty. Yeah, yeah, we, I'll, I'll get, I'll skip it. There you can't stand a second without a leash around your neck. How about you finally go down your own path? I... I, I never wanted to harm anyone. I still don't want to. I always try to do what's right. Trying is all you could ever do. <laughs> hmm. You got it all wrong. Once upon a time, there was a freak with no face. Ooh, How much longer you want to be a nobody? You just follow in your sister's footsteps. How far will you go when she's not around? Zora's got a, a plan. She always has one. It's time you had a plan. You want to hide here in the woods? You can't hide from Baba, princess. I just need to find the Red Oak. The Red Oak. <laughs> if anything bad happens... Stop it! Then forget the goddamn Oak! What you really want to find is... The Hut. <gasps> what? Hi. Is it drilling into your little head? The Hut. The Hut! Just another bad dream. Okay, so our morality should be slightly nicer now. I haven't had a good night's sleep since Laura went missing. I think I finally know where to look for her. The hut? But first I have to get some food to get my strength back. Uh, we are, okay, I see at the bottom there we have our hearts. Okay. Oh yeah, and then we have this, and all of that, and this. Now we're on this side because of that one question answer thing. I like... I like the foliage. Oh, there we go. There it is. Do I have any arrows? Have some. I keep having nightmares since Baba the Witch started snatching kids from the village. Orko, Slavitsa, Dragoy. Weavers of life keep on spinning my thread. Mm. Save point requires a little flower to save. And Amanita! Which is not a good thing. Amanitas are. Whoa! Uh, okay. That was. Bad. I guess we don't do water. Okay. Like it wants the fruit. That's my good deed for the day. Yeah. Oh, it's a 
big one. I hope I can take it down. What? Well, that's weird. I guess we're just not gonna mention about that, but okay, fine. Is this something? It kind of looks like some. Oh! A bite from that spider can kill in seconds. I'd better fix myself an antidote, just in case. Oh, I see. 